The 94th Academy Awards are almost here, and I wanted to make some videos predicting what I think is going to win in most of the categories. In my last video, I predicted what's going to win an adapted screenplay, an original screenplay. In this eighth of 10 prediction videos, I'm going to talk about what I think is going to win Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress. Here we go. First up is Best Supporting Actor. The nominees are Kieran Hines for Belfast, Troy Kotzer for Coda, Jesse Plemons for The Power of the Dog, J.K. Simmons for Being the Ricardos, and Cody Smith McPhee for The Power of the Dog. So I don't know about you, but the supporting actor and actress categories this year at the Academy Awards are looking pretty much locked at this point. I think we needed the SAG Awards to really understand where the narrative of these two categories was going, especially since the Golden Globes weren't televised, and so we've been kind of guessing all the way through. After the SAG Awards, it became a little clearer what's likely to win at the Academy Awards. Of course, there's always room for a surprise, but in looking at the supporting actor category, I'm pretty sure we know who's going to win. So let's go through the names that will not win. I would say the biggest shock in this category on Oscar nominations morning was J.K. Simmons for being the Ricardos. I'm not sure how many people predicted him to make it in, but that was definitely a surprise. I don't think he has a shot in the world to win this, especially since he won an Academy Award for his amazing supporting turn in Whiplash back in 2015. I mean, I don't know how you could possibly award J.K. Simmons a second Oscar for a performance that's not anywhere in the same league as his performance in Whiplash. So he is just happy to be here. The other person who has really no shot is Jesse Plemons for Power of the Dog. I think that was also kind of a surprise on Oscar nominations morning. We all knew Cody Smith McPhee would make it in, but Jesse Plemons, he was not as expected. I was not predicting him to make it in, but his inclusion here is fantastic. It's a really great performance. I just don't think he has what it takes to win. Kieran Hines is the sleeper. If there was going to be one big shocker, if the win did not go to Kotzer or Smith McPhee, the one I could see sneaking in here is Kieran Hines, a beloved actor. He's been around for decades. He's never won an Oscar. Belfast got seven nominations. It did very well. It got into picture, director, screenplay. I wouldn't count out Kieran Hines if enough people watch that film, love that film. He could sneak in, maybe? But as of now, I'm not predicting him. This category comes down to Troy Kotzer and Cody Smith McPhee. Cody Smith McPhee won the Golden Globe. Troy Kotzer won the SAG Award. And the thing is with Cody Smith McPhee is that the Golden Globes, since they weren't televised, we didn't get to see him give a great speech. It's a very quiet kind of introspective performance in that movie. And he's very young. Cody Smith McPhee is in his 20s. He's young. And I'm just not feeling like it's necessarily time for him to win. He's probably going to have many more opportunities down the road. So I'm not sure if Cody Smith McPhee, he certainly has a chance to win. I wouldn't count him out because Power of the Dog got 12 Oscar nominations and is going to win a few things. He could win here. Another reason why I don't think he's going to win is that Jesse Plemons is in the category for the same movie, and so some votes that might have gone to Smith McPhee are now going to go to Plemons. And so, especially with Smith McPhee losing at SAG, I'm just not feeling a win for him here. I think the winner of Supporting Actor is pretty obvious. I don't know how it goes to anyone but Troy Kotzer for Coda. It was my favorite part of my favorite movie of 2021. I thought he was outstanding in that. A great, rich, three-dimensional character. I loved every moment with him in that film. What a, what a discovery. What a tremendous performance he gave. And I'm not sure Coda is going to win anywhere else. Of course, Coda won Ensemble at SAG, but I'm still not thinking it's going to make it for picture, to actually win picture at the Oscars. 
I don't think it's going to happen since it doesn't have a director nomination and it doesn't have nearly as many nominations as the front runner the power of the dog i feel like if we're going to award coda something at the oscars it's supporting actor for what i thought was the best performance in the movie so i i mean kieran hines could be the sleeper cody smith mcphee is not done 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 yet but i just looking at these five names i think it's clear who's winning this in 2022 my prediction for the winner of Best Supporting Actor is Troy Kotzer for CODA. Next up is Best Supporting Actress. The nominees are Jesse Buckley for The Lost Daughter, Ariana DeBose for West Side Story, Judy Dench for Belfast, Kirsten Dunst for The Power of the Dog, and Anjanou Ellis for King Richard. There are some top categories at the Oscars this year where there are two, even three names being considered as the potential winner. I'm thinking of Best Actress. I'm thinking of Picture. There is a lot of excitement to be had as to what might win in some of these big categories. But Best Supporting Actress is not that category. I don't think anyone has a shot to beat Ariana DeBose at this point. I wanted to see what would happen at SAG. West Side Story did not show up in Ensemble. West Side Story wasn't really a part of that ceremony outside of that Supporting Actress nomination for DeBose. So I was like, hmm, maybe this will be the moment where Kirsten Dunst wins. Then we have some confusion as to who might win at the Oscars. But the fact that DeBose got the Golden Globe and SAG she's been nominated everywhere it is an amazing amazing character in that film and she gives it her all it is just a divine performance in that movie kind of like how i feel coda might only take home one oscar with supporting actor in some ways it's possible the only thing that west side story wins is an oscar for supporting actress i mean at the very least it'll be great to see both of these terrific films go home an Academy Award winner, even if neither film wins in any other category. As long as they can win one, we can always call both of these movies Academy Award winners, and that's definitely going to be the case with West Side Story. So let's consider the other nominees. Jesse Buckley for The Lost Daughter. That's a terrific performance. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like 0% because it is a really striking role in that movie, and if there's enough people watching Lost Daughter... The problem with these things is you start overthinking everything. You start thinking like, well, maybe Jesse Buckley could win. And it's like, what? <laughs> like, you know, that would just, that would be the shocker of the century if Jesse Buckley won. I don't think that's happening. I think she's happy to be there. Judy Dench, poor Katrina Balfe, who got in at the Golden Globes and at SAG and at Critics' Choice and at BAFTA. And then she doesn't get the Oscar nomination. Judy Dench does. That must have been so crushing for her. I can't even imagine. Like, man, I mean, she got so close. And then Judy Dench takes her spot. I mean, come on. You can't make it up. And what's so kind of lame about it is that Judy Dench has no shot in winning this. Judy Dench has an Academy Award. She's been nominated over and over and over and over. I don't think she's in the running for this really at this point i think she's done much better work before i think katrina balf might have had more of a shot to win in some ways but judy dench in there it's kind of like okay <laughs> like not happening we have ingenue ellis for king richard i mean i guess that could win i it's a great performance by a terrific actress i think if ariana debose wasn't in this category there would be a lot of confusion and a lot of different takes we could have on the potential winner. It's just really tricky when you have someone who's winning everywhere, getting nominated everywhere for a big movie that has a picture nomination, a director nomination. It's like, well, how do we really go against that? I would say the only person who could take her in a surprise win is Kirsten Dunst for The Power of the Dog. It's like almost all of these other nominees, a first time, nominee Kirsten Dunst of course has been a terrific actress going back to the 90s this is her first Oscar nomination I don't know if anyone would consider her overdue Power of the Dog of course is very popular getting 12 nominations it's going to win in a few places I don't know if the Power of the Dog will win in any of the acting categories they're just very kind of quiet performances and I don't know how you put Kirsten Dunst's performance 
in Power of the Dog next to Ariana DeBose's performance in West Side Story. I just don't know how you look at those two performances and go with Dunst. It's just a different kind of quiet performance and the bigger, flashier role that has lots of emotion, that's always gripping at every point in West Side Story. Ariana DeBose, I just don't know how anyone beats her. I think Kirsten Dunst maybe could win. I think she kind of needed that SAG win for me to be a little bit more on board with her surprising at the Oscars. I, you know, it's always exciting when there's one or two other nominees that could do it. I'm just not seeing it here. I wish I could surprise you all and say, I think the winner's going to be Anjanou Ellis, but I'm not gonna go there. I think it's pretty clear, like in Supporting Actor, who's going to win in Supporting Actress. So my prediction for the winner of Best Supporting Actress is Ariana DeBose for West Side Story. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win in Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress. Do you agree with my choices? Do you think I have it all wrong? We'll find out on March 27th. Join me in my next video when I predict who's going to win in Best Actor and Best Actress. See you then.